Hey everyone, now that you've decided to turn your prototype into a video game, we're going to take a look at the different tools available to you to take what you have on paper and turn it into reality. Welcome to Streamline Design everyone, I'm Zach, and today we get into the video game portion of this series. First, great job on getting this far. Making your first prototype and deciding what platform to put it on is kind of a big deal. Now, obviously you chose to make a video game, otherwise you wouldn't be here, but what kind of game? Depending on what kind of game you want to make will help determine the different types of tools for you. The main tool you're going to use is the game engine, which kind of forms the entire backbone and structure of the game, and it can really be broken out into two different types. Both types of game engines have free versions, and those are going to be the type we focus on here. You'll be able to find a full list down in the description of the different game engines, but the ones I suggest taking a look at for 2D are Game Maker Studio, Game Salad, Construct, and Unity. These are all good systems that work very well for making 2D games, and I suggest you try out a few of them. While for 3D games, I suggest taking a look at the Unreal Engine, Source Engine, and once again, Unity Engine. Now like I said earlier, I suggest you take a look at a couple of these to really help determine which one you want to focus on to make your prototype into a full-fledged game. Once you've decided on a game engine you like, your next goal is to recreate your prototype. Now, this can be done using assets from within the game engines themselves. You'll be able to make circles, squares, blocks, spheres, all depending on whether you're making a 2D or 3D game. For me, I often use blocks and boxes for the walls and the floor, and I tend to use circles and spheres to represent the character. Then, I work to make everything start moving and acting appropriately. You should try to do each piece of this on your own, but if you find yourself spending more than an hour on any one piece, go ahead and go over to the forums for your specific game engine that you chose. I guarantee there's going to be plenty of people out there who have asked your question, and it's already been answered and just waiting for you to find it. Don't struggle forever on something that is already solved. Remember, just take things slow. Do one thing at a time, and learn it. Before you realize it, your prototype is actually going to be a game that you can play. The question for the day, I want to know, what kind of game is this prototype that you're making? Is it an RPG? Is it a racing game? Is it a top-down shooter or is it a first-person shooter? Leave it down in the comments below. I want to hear all of your stories. Thanks for watching all the way through. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. Because next time, we're going to go ahead and look at adding graphics and sounds to your game and getting rid of all those squares and circles and spheres. See you then.